Yeah, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming in after a relay of late night party yesterday. Uh, today, I'll be talking more about like the barriers and the opportunity that WordPress has created in WordPress Nepal community. That's so wonderful. I'm so privileged to be here and presenting in front of you all. And thank you all listener who is listening to me in the live cast. Good evening to people in Nepal. Uh, uh, I'm Sakin Srasta and I'm from Catch Internet. I generally do develop themes and plugins and you can follow me on Sakin Srasta. I founded a company uh, called Catch Internet and where I now sell themes using Catch Themes. WordPress changed uh, from me from um, theme developer to a tech entrepreneur and uh, I have now co-owned various companies like Theme Palace, The WordPress, Nepal Boss, and ThemeReview.co. Basically, uh, I'm from Nepal. When I say Nepal, people, many people don't know where it is. So it's a, a tiny country. It's a landlocked country between India and China, the big, two big, biggest country. So whenever I say I'm Nepal, and they always think it's, it's a mountainous country, and they say, like, have you, have you climbed the Mount Everest? <laughs> And I said, no, I'm from Nepal. That doesn't mean that I climb Mount Everest. Only the Sherpas and the mountainous people climb Mount Everest. I, I, I'm, I'm a tech person. <laughs> OK. Then next question is usually, are you Buddhist? You are from the Buddha, Buddha country. Then I said, no. Majority of people are still there is Hindu, actually. But, uh, that's why we follow Buddhism, but not all people are Buddhist. So these are the questions I get as soon as I introduce myself. Uh, now let's have look at the barriers that we have. Is like uh, we have a family-oriented culture. It's like uh, we have three generations living together, like grandparents, parents, and me and child, and everyone is together with a um, with a good family. Uh, the good point is you get support when you need it. The bad point is like when you have an idea, when you want to do something new. Um, then there is always like conflict of interest, and and you have to follow the whole uh, culture thing. So that's, that, that's again a bad thing. You, you don't become independent at the age of 16. Uh, and the career choices basically in Nepal is like, okay, you wanna be a doctor or you, you're gonna do agriculture things. Uh, otherwise, uh, there's not much culture choi um, career choices. Um, so we are talk like that, and, and we have lots of dreams. We want to be like artists, or we want to be tech, tech people, or designer. Then they will say, oh, why you want to be a designer? Or, or, or you want to do art? How are you going to make your living? So, so we have to study education accordingly, and our head gets turning round and round. We don't have a startup culture. There's nothing called like a garage startup, or a like, um, or like you start from your living room, but then when you say, like, I want to do a business uh, to your parents, then they will say, do you have money to do it? I cannot uh, give you that much of amount. In Nepal, it's considered uh, t uh, when you want to do a business, you need to have a lot of money to do a business, but it's just a misconception. Another misconception is that uh, it's, it's a tech tech. Um, generation, but then uh, parents, we live with our parents, that's why when we are do, doing a lot of computer things, they are thinking that you're not studying, you're just just playing around, so don't don't play around, just read your books. So reading book is only considered as uh, like uh, studying kind of thing. And when I say like I'm a computer engineer, then they will say, do you make keyboards? Do you, do you, do you uh, repair my computers? And then the uncle and aunt will come, the, oh, gentleman, can you come to my home and repair? It's, 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 it's been down since last week. So those are the things, uh, it happens all the time. And, and there's nothing called software engineer kind of thing. So, and my story is uh, not much of a difference. Uh, I, I followed all the uh, cultural things and went to study and then graduated MBA from Singapore. And then I said, like, oh, my parents was really, really happy with that. OK, that's great. You have done it. And I said, OK, I have done it. Then that was just the beginning for me. I didn't know what to do. Then I came back to my home country. I loved IT, but then I studied management, MBA. So what I thought, like, let's join an IT company where I can use my IT skills that I've been practicing from my grade eight 
so that I can do IT as well as management. Then I joined this company called Digital Max Solutions, which helped me a lot. They hired me as a human resource manager. At the time, this was the, uh, back in 2007, it was uh, one of the uh, biggest company in Nepal with uh, 30 employees, and then, um, uh, but they were using custom PHP and custom software. So we are having a lot of problem, and I was given the opportunity to update this site uh, uh, regularly, but then I have trouble always updating, and then I choose like, okay, let's do it in WordPress. And the, then the management team said, okay, how can WordPress do all the content management system? It's just a blog. Then I had to do it in my weekend time, just, I just converted this site into the WordPress. And that's how the story changed. The company started doing all the things on WordPress. Uh, then. Luckily, I went to uh, Australia, Melbourne, and there I attended WordCamp Melbourne in 2011. Uh, so that was the good thing. And I love WordCamps, I love attending WordCamps because that inspired me a lot. It has changed my life, it has changed whole lives of others, and it has changed lives of WordPress, Nepal. They were very welcoming, they were very charming. They were helping, exchanging ideas. There's nothing called competitions. So I said, wow, if I can simulate these things in the back in Nepal, then Nepal can build a good IT culture. I went back to WordPress Nepal. So in the same way, my friend Chandra Morgan was also in WordCamp San Francisco, and he came back, and we three, Chandra, Ujjal, and me, founded the WordPress Nepal community in back in 2011, end of 2011. So we decided that we're going to do a WordCamp 2012, and we we're so excited, but we don't know where to start. It was a humble beginning, and we were like only five or six people doing meetups in like cafes or restaurants, and then also meetups at home playing games and all the things. Then the idea like, okay, let's do workshop in colleges, like, um, and then talk in colleges and all. So we started getting more students into the WordPress communities and telling more and more people about it. We used the social networking to expand our uh, widen our market, so, and then we were able to organize first ever WordCamp 2012 with 130 people on it, and that was amazing for us. That was life-changing for us, and like uh, everybody knew what is WordPress about it, and everybody started working on it, and there was new companies growing every year, everywhere companies were going, uh, people working in WordPress is growing, and we continued WordPress meetup, whether there is two people, five people, 10 people, or 20 people, we didn't care about it. We continued like every last Sunday of the month is our WordPress meetup, that's it. And then we did that, and because of that, we have growing numbers of what, um, people in WordCamp every year, like 2013, 14, 15. And then we, start, we thought about like, okay, let's decentralize it. We have already grown such a big uh, amount of um, turnover in Kathmandu, let's do it in other cities. So we, this year we changed the name from WordCamp Nepal to WordCamp Kathmandu, and there was more than uh, 300 people attending WordCamp Kathmandu. This was an amazing event again. And so we wanted to transform that, and we had like meet up in other cities like Biratnagar, Pokhara, and Chuton. We have already started that, which is also another great achievement for us. And now we have more than 5,000 members in our group, uh, um, and anyone, can, anyone from Nepal can join that. Uh, that leads to creating a lot of opportunities uh, within the Nepalese horizon. You won't believe there are so many companies doing themes, plugins, outsourcing, and all those stuff. If you say Nepal is just, just like mountain and, and agriculture, but then it has changed the life, you can see the number of companies that I even couldn't fit in my uh, big slides, these were all formed during the last five, five years. So these are all new companies and uh, every year it's been growing and growing and every year it's been creating lots of job opportunities and all. So again, thanks for the WordCamp and WordPress because like it helps people to get international exposures and market. Like we've been selling themes and plugins internationally. Previously, we couldn't sell our product because we are like more of a landlocked country and we, in order to uh, export, we used to export like handicraft, we still export handicrafts, but then it's very difficult process. You need to go from all the way to India, Calcutta, Seaport to export anything. So that's how WordPress made it easy to export our capabilities and 
then um, yeah, lots of web solutions, online magazine blogs, inter uh, international WordCamp and meetups. We are able to participate now. Uh, we are like six of them participating in WordCamp uh, uh, Europe, and uh, um, there are more people trying to come to WordCamp US. It also creates a lot of freedom to expressions, and then because the WordPress is a platform where you can write a blog, and there is a newspaper, online newspaper nowadays. Previously, used to just focus on like government sites and government uh, TVs and radios, which is um, filtered out, so we don't know what exactly is happening. So, this is how WordPress has changed again. Now, anyone can easily build a website and change the life, change the information, and. It's been changing the mindset of the people from last six years. Um, uh, our parents are proud. Even my parents are proud to say that, okay, my son does WordPress work and uh, he's been doing a good living out of it. So uh, they proudly says it's a computer engineer. We are keeping our youth back home. Previously, if you are a computer engineer or software engineer, you had to go to US, Australia, or, or European countries to, in order to work. But now we have lots of companies establishing and every year it's growing. Uh, we are able to keep our youth back home. That's, again, another amazing thing that's happening, and you can see people working there. Um, uh, that's why, I like, now I'd like to conclude by saying that, okay, it has break our social barriers, all the barriers that has been there. Now it's like WordPress changed the life a lot. It has created entrepreneurship. Now people are starting uh, doing business from... Uh, their garage or their uh, living room, their kitchens, whatever they have, just they just need a laptop and then start uh, learning from YouTube and Codex and all those things and they can start uh, businesses easily. Uh, there's lots of job opportunities. Uh, actually, um, I'm glad here to say that we have actually shortages of WordPress developer in Nepal. Like, we still need to train people when we are hiring. That's why it's lots of opportunity if you are in WordPress in Nepal. And there is a, uh, again, I've already told you there's freedom to expression and we have grown from like slow IT culture. There was no IT culture at all to the fastest growing IT culture. Every year we have at least 10, 10 good WordPress companies coming in and more and more. So thank you very much.